Okay, so now I'm going to work um, a little bit on the synthesis side of things. So we're going to use the frequency modulation tutorial as the basis for this assignment. So begin by going to the file browser, tutorials, MSP tutorials, and start to type in frequency and the frequency modulation tutorial will come up and then just double click on open tutorial. We're using this patch as the basis for the tone color melody, the different timbres for the tone color melody. It's um, quite nice because you can see, uh, I'll play in just a second, there are a whole bunch of different um, timbres already included. Oops. Right, so there's all these different colors that are already included and uh, you should really, um, you will really explore many more than what they have um, coded in already, but this is a good starting place. So what I want you to do is <clears throat> unlock the patch, select everything, command A, copy, Command N to create a new patch, Command V to paste, and then Command Shift E to encapsulate. Now we've made a sub patch and we'll name it FM thingy. Thingy thing. Okay. <laughs> um, so lock your patch, Command E. And then now you have this sub patch um, stored, which is very handy. Um, let me see if I can quickly find save. Um, I've already um, I was testing this out earlier just a second ago. Let's see. If FM thing and what I've done is basically it's exactly the original patch with just a couple of small modifications. Um, I added two inlets. Turns out this inlet is kind of redundant because I'm using the, the second inlet to trigger the note, um, the new note every time, as well as to control the presets over here. Um, so as I have it right now, this inlet is not really necessary. However, um, what could be useful is to use this inlet to independently control the carrier frequency. If you um, use this first inlet to control the carrier frequency, you're going to need to make a slight tweak to your preset object over here because right now this preset object um, the way they had it in the tutorial is that it is controlling all of the different objects over here including the carrier frequency and so you're going to have um, a bit of a conflict if you're trying to control the carrier frequency through the inlet and at the same exact time trying to control it through the FM tone settings. So what you can do instead um, is to store a bunch of new presets. Um, you could even use a new preset object um, to be help to this, but um, in the meantime, you'll need to store new presets after you've connected this outlet to the carrier frequency to say that you're going to exclude the carrier frequency from the presets. So now, if you say Command E to lock this, and you made a bunch of whole, a bunch of changes, and you said Shift, click 
on shift and click on preset one, for instance, to set the first preset, it would set every single object in here except for the carrier frequency. It would do nothing to the carrier frequency. So, um, so that's something to keep in mind. <coughs> um, so when I've done what I was experimenting with here is having two of the same FM synthesis objects and adding them together. Um, so experimenting with different colors, different timbres. Um, right now they have the same presets inside of them and they have the same inlet controlling the, which preset is being chosen. You may want to um, change that to make it um, either a new inlet here that's controlled some other way. Um, but in my version right here, quite simple, they're just controlled, then they're combined, and then they're sent through this filter, which is controlled by this um, filter graph object over here. Um, so now this test patcher is connected to this um, patch that we were working on before and what happens is when I press play it'll play the sequence that was loaded um, in this load mass object and as it plays each note will trigger the counter object which will count up starting at zero from each note and it will send those integer values into the test patcher and it will send uh, the integer values into each of the FM thing sub patches and the second inlet here which then does two things it triggers um, triggers a note but before it triggers a note it sends the integer value to the preset object, which chooses a preset one, two, three, four, five, or six, or seven to control the timbre. Um, right now I have the volume within the subpatch, which is a bit of a pain because you actually have to open up the subpatch to control it. So it probably makes sense to either go just um, straight out um, from the multiplier object here, or to add a, another inlet that controls the volume. But anyway, so, and then as I said before, um, I am not, um, well, maybe I should just go ahead and do that. One second, I'm going to see about switching. I'll show you. So, I'll show you what will happen. Um, when I have the, um, get rid of the bang, so don't do that. And two, this should be MIDI to frequency. Now, let's see how what happens with that. Turn down the volume a little bit. Wow. <laughs> 